Our lives are constantly run by systems, routines, and processes. Whether these are systems in the workplace, routines that we follow at home, or processes that we go through in order to get our work done. But how often do we truly assess these approaches to identify inefficiencies and areas of improvement? In my case, this didn't happen all that often, but that changed when I learned about the Japanese philosophy of Kaizen. Kaizen is a Japanese concept formed out of two words, Kai meaning change, and Zen meaning good. This philosophy is based on the principle that continuous improvement or consistent change will ultimately lead to greater results and output. In terms of productivity, it views improvement as a slow and gradual process that yields results in the long term. Following the Second World War, Kaizen was introduced to American industries as an attempt to reduce waste and increase efficiency. However, it was made famous by Toyota, who integrated this philosophy into their production pipeline as a means to catch issues as soon as they occurred. Over time, Toyota kept finding and eliminating issues with their production, so much so that the Toyota production system has become one of the most efficient and reliable in the world, with many other companies seeking to replicate this formula. In the corporate world, the Kaizen approach is normally carried out through general quality control, but many individuals and organizations have adopted Kaizen by utilizing what is known as the Deming Cycle for iterative improvement on products and processes. The Deming cycle involves four key steps. The first step is plan, which involves establishing the process through which your goals can be achieved. The second step is do, which is fairly self-explanatory and is the point where you execute on your plan. The third step is check, requires you to assess your process and results, identifying areas where you may have fallen short or areas that could have been made better. And the fourth step is act, this is the stage where you implement those modifications that you made to your process and improve your work. These four steps of plan, do, check, and act form a continuous loop that never really stops. It illustrates that there is never really an end and that there will be always something that can be improved upon. Now, continuous improvement requires constant planning and checking. As you go through each cycle of this loop, you gain knowledge that you will take into the next cycle. Ultimately, this will lead to an overall surge in the quality of your output, which is what happened in the case of Toyota and many others. One of the best starting points for implementing Kaizen is to begin by identifying your goals. With a clear goal or vision in mind, you can set the standard for what you're trying to achieve and accordingly begin to assess and iterate on your way to getting to that goal. By incorporating the Kaizen philosophy into your life, you begin to recognize that small changes can have a huge impact in the future and will compound into something substantial over time. Kaizen shares the same principles as the marginal gains theory, which promotes constant improvement 1% at a time. In fact, it's been said that if you can get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better than when you first started. You can also check out more about the marginal gains theory in the video that I made on my channel, which I'll leave a card up top for and link it right down for the little like button. There's always pressure to improve your productivity and increase your output, whether that pressure comes from ourselves or our peers, but much of that effectiveness of Kaizen comes from being able to identify and eliminate waste in our work. This could range from auditing the time that we spend on tasks or the way that we work through our to-do list, this philosophy of improvement simply evolves the way that you view your work and how you can steadily build on it every single day. One way that I'm doing this is by assessing my filming process for these videos. While my initial approach seemed to be working for me, I discovered that I could be more efficient by batching my filming and shooting two videos in a sitting instead of just one. This helped me eliminate the time wasted setting up all of my equipment for just one video when instead I could do twice as much. I'm certain that as I keep checking my production process, I'll discover more ways for me to tighten up my process. Maybe that would result in hiring an editor or improving my writing process. You just never know. Implementing Kaizen into my own life has been a good reminder that we can often get caught up in our large goals and the big picture when the only real thing to do is to focus on continuous improvement and the process of getting to that goal. Any approach that emphasizes long-term development and constant learning is a recipe for success. So if you wanna know more about specific methods to go about doing this, check out this video right here or even this one right here. Drop me a like if you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.